So we're looking for fossils that document the recovery of animals on land about 250 million years ago, the time period just after a big mass extinction. So we just got back from about two months in Antarctica and we found fossils of, of animals that are close to reptiles, a bunch of fossils that are uh, amphibian relatives, and then even some fossils that are um, distant relatives of mammals. And we also found a good number of trace fossils. So some of those are burrows, so these animals were digging dens back in the Triassic. Uh, some of them were footprints. We also found some plant material, so some indications of what kinds of plants were living at that time period. So we take these crazy rock saws, we cut out a pedestal around the fossil. And so then what happens is after we've cut out and chiseled out all of this rock, we put a plaster jacket on top. So these are scattered parts of Lystrosaurus. We're going to be looking for how this animal was affected by the extreme seasons that it encountered and lived in, in Antarctica. In the past, we've sort of known which families of amphibians have been there, but we've never known really exactly which species. And so because we have so many of them and they're so well preserved, I think we'll be able to now tackle that question, sort of finally know what species of amphibian were around in Antarctica after mass extinction. It is mentally a very different kind of field work. You're in a pretty extreme environment in an extreme situation. It was an amazing experience, uh, both kind of because it was fun, but also scientifically, I think we made a really impressive collection.